Today, the Wakiso town council went into a fight when a councillor from within the council decided to beat up fellow councillors who are allegedly working with the NRM. I think like a few months back, some uh, uh, NUP councillors from within the Wakiso district were invited in the state house and they met the president. Okay, it, it may not be bad for councillors to meet the president if you are in a functioning democracy. But what we are in uh, is an authoritarian rule. And to a, 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 more, a larger extent, a person who wants to subjugate anyone. So in this episode, I've come to talk about what happened in the Wakiso Council, where a councillor beat up fellow councillors, what it means for our democracy, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagadi. There is a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Rashid Seguja, a political prisoner who has been in cancellation for more than three years. So the video is surfaced on social media. There is a certain councillor who decided to beat up fellow councillors, accusing them of working with the NRM. Yet they are elected on the on the on the on the basis of losing very many people. We all know the 2021 general election will go in the history of Uganda as one, apart from the 1980, as one of the second worst elections we've ever had. We saw presidential candidates being arrested. We saw being, people being shot on the street. Even up to now, there are prisoners of war who still languish in, in prison. Before I talk about this, let me first give you the video as the councillor was doing this. Here's the tape. So that is the councillor in the council. First of all, I do not condone violence, especially when it's being done on the, on mature people and more so on elected leaders. Because I don't think if these councillors decided to fight back, we, could, we would be seeing another tragedy in the council. Okay, I feel that councillor, he, he may have done this out of emotions. Because truth be said, I feel bad when a person changes like Kagabo to go in the NRM to downplay the NUP effort. When everyone, we, when even Ashraf Kasi was short when they were heading to his campaigns. So it somewhat feels bad. But that is not the way how politics works. Okay? Because in our law, this councillor may be taken to jail or maybe something bad may happen. Okay? This I, I agree that this was extreme, but I feel the pain. I feel the emotions. Okay, there are some people who may not just change like this, like uh, just like that, putting in consideration that NUP was founded on the bones, on the life of very, of very many people, just like FDC. Okay, it pains me that FDC is going into disintegration. There are very many people who lost lives. There are very many people who are lame because of FDC. So if it is taken for granted, okay, it is really, really bad. Although I don't condone the violence which was shown in the headquarters of the NUP. Secondly, maybe he would have done it not because of emotions, maybe because of politi political capital. It is also possible. Every leader can be a political animal. Okay? Three, uh, we all know that Wakiso was represented well in the, uh, by the opposition. By the way, for the past 35 years, for the 
past 35 years besije uh, during besije's era besije would win the political vote in wakiso but he he wouldn't win the elected leaders 75% of all MPs in Wakiso were NRM. That is the truth until maybe 2021. So the paradigm shift may be in, in Wakiso. The members who were elected in Wakiso didn't know how to play opposition politics. That's why they are in this habits. What this leader needed to have done maybe engage the Secretary General so that these uh, 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 councillors would, uh, would be taught about some things. And here, the first time they went to the to state house, I knew a secretary a, a meeting happened between them and the secretary general. So if they did that again, it means that there are some traitors for uh, in the struggle. But I wouldn't wish the violence, most especially when it is caught on the camera, to happen in the uh, Wakiso Council. There are very many options which could have been done to settle this. Of course, that's my opinion. You can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video. I'll take time to, to read through your comments. And trust me, I do that a lot. Sometimes I reply back, sometimes I engage. Thank you very much for listening. And if this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace. Thank you.